Hi guys, my name is Jen Shea and I'm the Director of Fashion and Commercial Print for Forward the Agency. And a lot of you have recently submitted to our Oshkosh casting and some of you can't make it in person, so you've been requested to submit a self-tape. Some of you may not know what a great self-tape looks like, so I just thought I would take a few minutes and walk you through a few pointers to help you along that process so you can submit a great self-tape of your child. Okay, so tip number one. You just need an iPhone or something similar that has a video camera. You do not need to get any like fancy schmancy, you know, video equipment or whatever. You just turn that phone landscape. That's one of the biggest mistakes a lot of people do. They keep it vertical. And I guess we're all just used to Instagram and TikTok and all of that where we're taping vertically. But in this case, for self tape purposes, you're going to turn it landscape. Then you're gonna put it on something stable. I would highly recommend investing in a tripod stand with a ring light. You can get one on Amazon for literally $30 or less. Do not spend any more than that. Um, the cheapo ones work perfectly fine and they're great for this purpose. So you're gonna put it on a ring light on a tripod. And the next tip that I have for you is lighting. So if you have some really big windows that you can set this tripod in front of and then have your child stand in front of it and have all that beautiful natural light shine on their face and light up their eyes. I would highly recommend that. I just think natural light, you just can't go wrong. But if that is not an option, then just turn on that ring light that you have and that will work perfectly fine. In fact, I'm in front of a ring light tonight because I'm the sun's gone down. So um, ring light is just, just great. So those are the two options for lighting. But the main thing is you just want to make sure that you have that crisp, really bright light where it's not hazy, you know, make sure you wipe your camera off. So it just looks really bright and really clean and nice. Um, so then once you have your setup down, then you're ready to start taping. So you're going to turn the camera on and for the kiddos that are a little bit older that can introduce themselves and talk, you're going to have them try to stand really still and direct their eye line to camera. In the beginning, this can be a little tough, but I promise you, if you keep walking them through it and, and practicing this and training them, they will be pros at it before you know it. So eye line is gonna go direct to camera, which is the little green light on my phone. Um, that's where the camera is. It's not looking at the screen, but it's actually looking at the camera. So you're gonna try to have them look there and then you're gonna have them introduce themselves, state their name, their age, their height in inches, very, very important for sizing, and then let us know what their shoe size is. And then from there, just ask them a few questions. This does not have to be a long drawn out thing. We're talking about 30 seconds or less, but the main thing is ask them questions that you know that they're gonna get excited about and it's gonna just show their personality. And then I would have them talk about things that make them shine or that they're good at. You know, like, are they a great skateboarder? Do they play tennis? Anything that kind of sets them apart and something that um, they're really good at, I would have them talk about that as well. Now, for the babies, this is gonna look a little bit different. The main thing that you wanna focus on and what the client is really wanting to see is, can they sit up by themselves unassisted? Can they crawl? Can they walk? They wanna see lots of smiles. They wanna see the baby engage with you. So um, put your face next to the camera on the side of the camera and have them engage with you just so that way you can really capture on the tape, you know, your child's cuteness and how they smile and laugh and giggle. And that's really all that you really need to capture as far as in a self tape for a baby. Um, so once you're done taping, then what I would recommend is go back into your camera roll and cut the video, like anything where you can kind of clean it up just shorten it or, you know, in the beginning, if you if you got some parts in there with you talking or setting yourself up, just make sure you cut all those parts out, make it nice and clean and neat. And then you're gonna upload it to this form. And from there, we will submit it to the client. It's as easy as that. So I hope that you guys learned something from this and um, happy booking.